Hello friends welcome to my channel. Your presence in this channel means a lot. Currently I'm about to explain an Indian movie called, Dangle, so grab your snacks and enjoy. The protagonist of the movie is Mahavir Sin, a former Indian wrestler who gave up on wrestling due to financial problems. The movie begins with Mahavir Sin watching the 1988 Seoul Olympics. The broadcast shows that India's role in wrestling is very poor. He complains about how the Indian boys don't get proper training, which results to their poor performance. Harkindar, a former state-level wrestling champion stands besides him. He they get into a small argument and they both challenge each other to a wrestling match in the middle of the office. Harkindar is confident due to his body size. As soon as the fight begins, Mahavir quickly knocks Harkindar to the ground and wins after two more rounds of the match. Mahavir tells Harkinder that he didn't lose to any man, but to a national wrestling champion. When Mahavir won the national championship a few years ago, he was motivated to go to the international level and win the gold medal for his country. He was hardly making any money from the sport and had no other way to support his family, he decided to take an office job. He believes that one day his future sons will fulfill his dream for him. He stares at the medals he won hoping his wife Daya will give birth to a son but she give birth to a girl and named her Gita. He receives unwanted advice from the locals on how to conceive a son, including suggestions to try on Sunday mornings and to religious act regularly. After a year of using every method, the couple is blessed with the birth of their second daughter, Babita. Years pass by and they were blessed with two more girls. Mahavir finally gives up and locks the medals and pictures in a trunk. Babita and Gita are now grown-up teenager who are terrified of their strict father. Mahavir returns home one evening to find his neighbors standing in front of his house. They blame Gita and Babita for beating their two sons who are just the ages as the girls. Mahavir is shocked to see the condition of the boys whose faces are now bruised. Mahavir asks them how Gita and Babita beat the two boys and the girls happily demonstrate on their cousin Amkar. He realizes that the girls are just as good as a son after observing their natural wrestling talent. He accuses himself for wanting a boy when his daughters were right in front of him the entire time. Mahavir informs Daya at night that he wants to train his daughters to wrestle. Daya, who has always lived in a society where girls only did the household is terrified at the idea of her daughters acting like males. And she is concerned about whether or not they would ever get married if they were to pursue careers as wrestlers. If by the end of the year his daughters have not made any progress, Mahavir promises to give up on them, he asks her for a year to prove his daughter's capabilities. He wakes Gita and Babita the following morning at about 5. They slowly step outdoors and are shocked to see their beloved street vendor selling their favorite dessert, Galgapas. Surprised they ask why he is feeding them. Mahavir says that they will not be allowed to do so starting that day, thus this is their final chance to consume street foods or oily foods. The girls are afraid to say no to their father so they eat as much as they can. He then instructs them to begin their training by running a number of miles the girls complain that their clothing makes it difficult for them to run faster. So Mahavir forces his daughters to wear shorts and t-shirts that he takes from his nephew. When Gita and Babita are seen running around with their legs uncovered, the entire neighborhood is shocked. Starting from that day Mahavir wakes up the girls at dawn and makes them do a lot of vigorous training that they are not used to. He is strict on them and he doesn't allow them to rest when they are tired. Even after complaining they still have to do as their father says. When the owner of the local wrestling arena doesn't allow girls to train in his ring, Mahavir makes his own ring at the middle of the farm where nobody can see them as they train. After a few days of training he realizes that the girls must fight with men in order to be more powerful than them. Amkar, his nephew, is the only man who qualifies to train with the girls. When they enter in the ring for a match he defeats them both at a blink of an eye, but their failure over time helps show the girls' progress. Mahavir thinks the girls need meat to get enough protein, despite the fact of his financial situation and the fact that he is married to a vegetarian prevent him from doing so. Nevertheless, Mahavir tries to negotiate with the butcher to get meat for a lower price in exchange of promotion for the store when the girls win the national championship. 
He cooks the meat with the help of Omkar and feeds it to his trainees. Gita and Babita are fed up with the training, so one night they approach their father and complain about their studies being affected and how their hair are ruined due to training in the dirt. Mahavir thinks the part about studies can be compromised but the hair is a real problem. The girls were relieved, little did they know that their father wants to get rid of their hair. So the very next morning he calls the barber to his house to cut all of their hair, the girls cry and beg him but he doesn't listen. The neighbors gossip about them because they now look like boys. Both sisters are very angry on Mahavir since he is being very strict and cruel on them. So they start doing little tricks to escape training. They change the alarm setting in Mahavir's clock, break the light bulb that lights the ring also Gita pretends she hurt her leg and so on. One day they escape training and plan to attend a relative's wedding. They request their mother not to tell it to their father. While at the wedding they have fun, and eat whatever they want. Suddenly their father comes out of nowhere and slaps Amkar for being a bad influence on the girls. Later on the same day the bride, Amkar, and the sisters are all in the same room. Gita and Babita are angry about their father and wish they had never been born due to the things they are made to do. The 14-year-old bride, who is being forcefully wed off by her father, stops them. She asks them who they prefer between her parents and Gita's. She tells them they both are very lucky that Mahavir is thinking about their career in life and not getting them married at such an early age unlike her family is doing. The bride's words helps the sisters understand that even though their father is brutally training them, he ultimately is doing it for them. The following day Mahavir wakes up to see his daughters are not in their room. He leaves for the fields only to find them training really hard. A few days later Gita manages to defeat Amkar. Mahavir began seeking a more powerful opponent for her as a result of her progress. He then travels to a nearby village where a local wrestling competition is taking place along with Gita Babita and Amkar. But since the participants of the competition are only guys, the organizer think it is a sin to let the girls fight them. However when told a match between a boy and girl will invite more audience he agrees. Nearly the entire village shows up on the day of the fight to watch a girl fight, and everyone is certain that she will lose horribly. When told to choose amongst four competitors Gita chooses the most strong boy to wrestle. Contrary to what the villagers believed, she fights extremely well and as the battle progresses, the crowd begins to applaud for Gita. Even though she eventually loses, she receives more prize money than the boy. She apologizes to her father for losing the fight but he's proud of her. Due to the lose, Gita is not able to sleep. She is eager for the next match. The girls take part in several wrestling matches after that. Gita goes against men who are stronger than her and is able to win against them. Also she manages to win against the guy who she lost to at her first match. Their popularity starts increasing and the butcher uses their pictures to advertise his products as promised. Mahavir is thrilled because his daughter's medals are now displayed on the wall that once used to hold his. Both sisters quickly developed into unstoppable wrestlers who won every match. Gita is prepared to wrestle in the sub-junior national level and in order to give her enough time to prepare. Mahavir quits his job because his employer refused to give him two months leave. Additionally, Gita and Babita had been engaging in local level mud wrestling up until this point. Since they will now be competing on a mat, it is necessary for him to change their preparation, so he goes to the national board to request funding to establish a mat. But he gets no assistance. Mahavir's brother advises him to make a wrestling mat using sleeping mats. The following day he make a wrestling mat on his terrace to teach her the game. Finally the day of the competition reaches. Gita is underweight for her category however she takes part in the competition and wins the gold medal easily due to the fact that she used to win against men double her size. She yet again wins a gold medal in the junior national levels. Time passes quickly, and Gita soon participates in the senior national level championships where she successfully wins and receives the title of national level champion. Mahavir is proud of his daughter, and upon her return home, a crowd greets her with dancing and singing. 
The entire village, which had earlier criticized and gossiped about Mahavir is now proud and cheering for Gita. Mahavir allows Gita to relax for the day and that they will soon begin training for the international gold medal, but he forgets that for Gita to represent India at the international level. She will need to receive training in a recognized facility in Patiala from a different coach. Mahavir permits her to leave despite his concern that a new coach won't identify her abilities, qualities, and weak points. The following day they arrive at the training center and meet the new coach Pramit. He is an arrogant man who believes his way of teaching is superior than everyone else's. When Pramid shouts at Gita for doing a warm-up exercise in the wrong way Mahavir starts to talk to him but he becomes annoyed and tells him to go home. His attitude makes Mahavir worried for his daughter. Before starting the training, Pramid instructs the girls to erase from their mind all of the incorrect diet routines and fighting tactics they had previously learned. He begins teaching the girls his supposedly superior fighting methods entirely changing Gita's strategy for approaching a fight. Gita is good at attacking but he instructs her to play defense thinking it will benefit her. Gita gets carried away by her friends who watch television, eat spicy and oily foods, talk to boys, and engage in other activities that she was otherwise not permitted to do at home. Gita also grows her hair longer. At the same time, Babita works hard with her father, learning everything Gita was taught, to get ready for the national level championship. After few months Gita returns with gift for her sisters. She disrespects her father thinking that she is well trained than him. Later that day, when the sisters are training with girls from their neighborhood. Gita shows off the new skills her new coach is teaching her. Seeing that Gita is very firmly attached to her new fighting methods, Mahavir gives her the opportunity to prove that his fighting techniques is outdated. The father and daughter fight against one another. Gita doesn't show mercy to her father who is losing his breath. Although Mahavir competes fiercely he loses because he is weak and old. With a lot of bride in her she leaves her father on the ground. Later Babita tells her sister that what she did was not good but Gita is still proud of herself. The following day she leaves for Patiala without talking to her father. Mahavir is really upset to an extent of not focusing on his day-to-day -day life. The next scene shows Gita flying to Sydney for the world championship. Babita plays for the national level championship in New Delhi on the same day that Gita is competing for the international championship. Babita wins the national level championship and is required to enroll in the training academy in Patiala. While Gita loses the match of her dream that could have earned her the gold medal for her country. Unlike Gita, Babita vows to adhere to her father's training before the coach. One night Gita is questioned by Babita on why she doesn't seem upset about losing the international title yet she used to lack sleep after losing a local match. Gita said she can win in the upcoming match. A month later another international match is held in Moscow, and Gita loses for the second time. In the international matches held in Jakarta and Istanbul, she achieves the same outcome. Her coach refuses to acknowledge that his training for her was ineffective, telling her that she is not fit for the international championships. Gita is told by Babita to make peace with her father when she is discouraged by her continuous failure, and she does so while sobbing uncontrollably on the phone. Mahavir forgives her and promises to help her win. Gita becomes her old self by cutting her hair down again. She has to compete in the 19th Commonwealth match in six months' time, where the participants are the best players around the world. The coach advises her to reduce weight and participate in the 51 kg weight category rather than in her usual 55 kg weight category. After hearing this, Mahavir and Amkar relocate to Patiala close to the training center so that he may help her compete for the 55 kg category and he instructs Gita to follow her coach's instructions throughout the training session. But Mahavir and his daughters begin working out separately using their old routine of waking up at 5 a.m. before their formal training begins. The girls secretly spend two hours in the morning training with their father. They do good for a few weeks but Pramit eventually realizes what is going on. When Gita doesn't lose weight even after being on a strict diet, he files a complaint to the head of the sports board. 
Mahavir is summoned to the institution, and he is warned not to interfere with the girls' practice sessions or they will be disqualified. Mahavir begs them to let his daughters participate, vowing never to return to the institution. Mahavir then begins coaching Gita over the phone by watching all of her international competing games video recordings and pointing out her weaknesses. Mahavir instructs her on how to improve using his methods. She wins at the Patiala National Trials and is chosen for the Commonwealth match. When the championship starts, she has to fight Melissa from Wales. In the first two rounds of the competition, Gita performs poorly. Pramit encourages her to concentrate on defending but Mahavir shouts at her to attack rather than to defend. She wins after applying her father's instruction and scored several points. She competes against Naomi from Nigeria in the semi-finals. Similar to the previous match, Gita takes her father's advice and scores a number of points, but the match finishes in a draw. In the additional round, she does the unthinkable by getting free of Naomi's grip and wins the match. In a press conference, the coach tries to take all the credit but Gita gives statement that it is all her father's hard work. Mahavir is simultaneously watching the second semi-final match, in which Australian Angelina Watson easily defeats her opponent. Watson has previously faced Gita twice and defeated her both times, so she is confident that she will obviously win the finals. She won't be an easy opponent, but Mahavir trusts his daughter to give it her all. He encourages her by telling her that she isn't just fighting Angelina, she's fighting everyone who believes that girls belong in the kitchen. Mahavir and Amkar arrive at the venue on the day of the finals both nervous and excited. At the same time, a man hired by Pramod tricks Mahavir into entering a storeroom and locks him inside. Pramod wants to claim all the credit while also exacting revenge on Mahavir. Without success, Mahavir attempts to break the door. When the match begun Gita wins the first round with 5 points. She searches the crowd for her father but is unable to locate him. She performs well in the second round and has a two-point lead. With a counterattack in the final round, Angelina changes the flow of the game. Gita only get a point, while she receives five. With only nine seconds left, Gita remembers a special five-pointer technique that Mahavir taught her and uses it to win the match. She wants to run to her dad to thank him for the great work he did and to celebrate with him, but she can't find him. She is awarded the medal and the winning nation's national anthem is played. When Mahavir heard the Indian anthem, he realized that his daughter had finally won. He shades tears of joy. Suddenly a janitor opens the door and he runs toward his daughters. He hugs them and expresses how proud he is. Moreover, the media completely ignore Pramod and focused on father and daughters. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Movie Retold for more videos like this. Also give a thumbs up if you like the video.